It is a beautiful day. I hope you're having a great day. Let's look at the March slash April issue of Barbie Bazaar from 1995. While I'm trying to fight off all these mosquitoes because it is a beautiful day, but for some reason they're coming out in the sunlight. Maybe I need to go out on the road where it's windier. Right, if I get bitten too many times, I'll make a, I'll take a break. Okay, so I'm trying to get this in frame without having to make it go up higher because if it goes up higher, it becomes like a giant bubble head. All right, so hmm, not my thing. Katie's collectibles, not much about that. Now, that's some pretty cool looking furniture. Every now and then I stop because the cats are going crazy. Here's the table of contents. We have variation, the many faces of Barbie, crossword puzzle, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's what's in the contents for this particular issue. Uh-huh, uh-huh, commercials. Uh-huh, and more commercials. And golly gee, Bertha Tamale, there's a ton of commercials. Katie Keene. Now that's actually a comic book. How many commercials do we have in here? My goodness. Oh, seriously. Swell Dolls. Is that the one in Chapel Hill? Yeah. No. Nope, that's Seattle, Washington. There was the Swell Doll Shop in Chapel Hill a long time ago. I knew the uh, the old man that works there. I worked there. No. Yep. He's just a few days older than me. Okay, I think we're finally getting to some articles here. Okay, so there's the bizarre letters, but not that bizarre. Video review and collecting. Hmm. So video review, what in the world are we viewing? There's videos like, hmm. you can tell I didn't read that article a long time ago. You know, it's like I'm going to have to change my angle. This is not going to work. I have to keep sliding. It's going to scratch the cover to pieces. Variations. So here's some variations on the bobble heads or the bubble heads or what do you want to call them? If you're into vintage, I was say antiques, this is for you. It's not my thing though. I won't complain if you send me one. Wow. It's like a clone. It's Ken sitting there going, I'm surrounded by pod people. Yeah, okay, so I'm just showing you guys the pictures. I'm not really into this stuff. Now, this is much more groovy. The many faces of Barbie. I, I really like this face a lot. I think it's really pretty. I never had one as a kid, though. So, you said this is Mary Tyler Moore inspired. And then Maureen McCormick from the Brady Bunch. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. This is really the same face over and over again. It's not until you get down to here when you get the Stacy face. This is the uh, Malibu Barbie that used Stacy. Hotline, collector's dreams come true in 1995. Hmm. Um, yeah, my mom has all those pretty much. I am not into it. I'm not into it. I sound like I'm a, like better than thou, but I'm just not into it. That one's kind of cool looking, but I personally. Hmm. Okay, do they have any playline stuff? That's what I'm like. <laughs> I'm mostly just playline. Play to play. Oh, Pilgrim Barbie. All right, they got a black and white of like the best Barbie so far I've seen. Hawaiian. Confessions of a Barbie Holic by Dave Coppell. Hmm. So, that's Judine Hansen, not Judy Hansen. Then there's a crossword puzzle. I never did that one. Oh, look at that. Superstar, like, super size fashions. Skipper, Scooty, or Scooty. Scooter and Ricky. Oh, I would love to have those. Now, see, this is the kind of stuff I would love to have. And this, I would like to have that, too. But I already have a Ricky. I don't know. I guess, I don't think I have a scooter, though. 
Oh, I would definitely like to have these. Why is all the good stuff in black and white? Eh. Well, my mama? All right, so Bill Waldo, the new Bob Mackey. That's pretty groovy. I like that. But I want it. And if it's in a glass case, and I have to worry about dusting it. Doesn't like it's too much fun to play with, though. Which of these would you like? I see out of these three, four, uh, probably this one. I think that one's the coolest looking one. Although I just, I wouldn't want to play with it. There's no play value to it. Um, I don't like any of those personally. Oh, that's cool. I mean, just the color coordination. Yeah, it's not my thing though, but evidently 1995 was just not my time. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Out of all the four pictures on this page, I like this one the best. Oh, Beauty Seekers Barbie. Hey, isn't this the one that, um, oh, Fashion Dreamer? Isn't that one you have right there with the thing going across it? Barbie convention in 1980. What's up with her leg? Oh, she must be wearing some kind of like fishnets or something. Um, I did not come with fishnets because that is really strange. I didn't have this one. I had the fashion um, Beauty Seekers Barbie when I was a kid back in 1980. Barbie's powwow. Oh, I would love to have that. I like kimonos, period. But Jenny is so cute. Well, she was originally Barbie, though. And I'm starting to feel the melting effect here. I'm melting Vicky. Oh, that's the one from um, Brazil, I think. I think Barbie is called Vicky down there. Barbie loves a fairy tale. Barbie dream weddings. That one's the United Colors of Benetton. And then the magic of Barbie in Birmingham. Oh, is this like where they had the things at? Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama was where they, Alabama, I can't speak English, in 1994. I've never been to a Barbie convention. Nope. Let's see if I'm in one of these pictures. Let's see, building the original Barbie club. Nope, not in that picture. Nope, nope. Also, I should see if I know any of these people. Eh. Uh, bad. Chit, chat, chit. What? Barbie gossip. Glenn Mandeville, that sounds familiar. I think he's got some books that I, or he's made some books that I got. Oh man, they didn't really have any really good stuff in here, in my opinion. Like, you know, like the Playline stuff. That's what I like. No offense to those who like the pretty, pumpy, fluffy dolls, whatever. Gosh, these two pages are going to glued together. Oh, see, this is why it's not for children. Naughty, naughty. Shame, shame, shame. Barbie wigs out. I think that's a pretty face, but I have a few of the repros of those. I might have some of the originals, I don't remember. So I remember seeing wig sets like that when I was a kid. Like they weren't by Barbie, they were by uh, Maddie Maud or something like that. Hair Fair or something like that. I, I never really had, I think I had one of them and I just didn't see the point in it. I got wigs. I mean, they come with all these like modern fashion figures. What in the world? It says Starlight Yoshiki. Is this like a metal band? Ex Japan members. Oh my gosh, why did I read this article? This looks actually interesting. Ex Japan is like a Japanese heavy metal band or glam metal. Huh. Wow. And that was back before the internet, so I probably didn't know what I was looking at. I was just looking at the pictures. I don't think I've read any of this because I usually circle the page numbers when I read it. Ah, bugs. I usually circle the page numbers when I read it and 
if I don't read the whole page, I put little like box things on it to show what I've read. And ads, and ads, and ads. Is it really gonna be all ads for the rest of this? I got no play line out of this. I'm very sad. I'm kind of disappointed because I really like the play line. Oh, here we go, price guy. It may have something interesting. Japanese Barbie from 1985. I would love to have that. Not that particular one, but I would like to have one from 1985. I wonder how different it is from Jenny. Um, that looks pretty cool. St. Trippez from 1989. Whatever happened to Kelly? Is she still around? Oh, look at all these Japanese dolls. Okay, so out of those four up there, which one would you want? Hmm, I'm trying to decide. I think that one has a cool shirt, cool skates. Probably this one. This one's the most like my style. I used to like the Eskimo Barbie when I was a kid. I didn't have it though. I just thought it looked kind of cool. Oh, I would love to have Stampin' or Western Stampin' Tara Lynn. I, she was one of the ones that I never could get on eBay. She's always like starting off at like ten dollars and then go up to like a billion dollars. I think I got this one at one time because back then it was really rare to have dolls with like different color hair, like you know fantasy hair like pink. Now it's like it's common. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jenny. I had this one. That jacket has fallen apart. Barbie and the Rockers. Oh, we used to so make fun of that, that stupid commercial when I was a kid. The dolls look kind of cool, though. <clears throat> oh, there's some more Barbie and the Rockers. I have the one of Dee Dee where she has the hands that move. Because I was going to... So... I never did finish her. I was putting clay on her head to make her into a Klingon. So I was going to make her into like, you know, Ursula and Bator. And her Klingon action. <laughs> you put a bat laugh on her arms and since she can dance, she looked like she was fighting with a bat laugh. I never did finish that. I mean, she had like the perfect everything for it. Oh, Jazzy. Oh, man, I miss Jazzy. This was a great line. I thought these were fun. They had little Happy Meal things that came with them. I think I got some of those off of eBay second hand. And then I got all the 90210, so I don't know anything about the show. I just thought, you know, diversity, you know, different heads. Back then, you know, it was always the same faces. Oh, is that it? They're not going to show all the um, Happy Meal kids. That was Stacy Whitney. Her. She had two other friends, didn't she? She had Todd. And I, I want to say, yeah, it's not Nikki, though. I don't know who the other girl was. Was it that was Whitney? So in the Courtney's the older one. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't show it though. Man, I kind of feel disappointed. It's the only stuff they had was really older stuff, which is fine. I mean, it's like the whole magazine is technically older. Now, if I can go back and get all these again, I would definitely want this one, this one, these two. Yeah, well, that's really crazy looking clothing now. Uh, all the rockers, definitely. Okay, I'm being alive out here by bugs. Barbie and the Rockers, definitely these two. Definitely that one. Look at that outfit. That's really cool. Um, I'd still get this, but I'd have to figure out a way to preserve that outfit. Definitely this one. I still want that one. Uh, I think I, I think I got rid of that a long time ago. And of course, all the genie stuff. Well, anyway, so what would you want out of all this stuff? Let me know below. I'd like to hear from you guys. You got some great insights. And you, like, sometimes you'll respond. And it's like, I did this, like, probably a month before you'll see it. And so I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And I'm like, I forget. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.